All right, you guys, today I'm going to take a look how to add halftone lines on models using perfectly rounded circles here on Illustrator and Photoshop. I'm going to start in Photoshop with this model as a reference. This is going to be my artboard size. I recommend you to go with a smaller resolution image so we can work a little bit more easier in Illustrator after this. First thing we're going to need to do is make it black and white. So let's go to the adjustments, select the black and white. And next we're going to need to add some contrast. So we're going to go back to the adjustments and select the curves. And I'm going to increase the contrast for this image specifically is going to be somewhere around this value. Now check this out. In order to make this half tone with perfect circles, we're going to need to eliminate the blacks out of it. So we're going to go back to the adjustments and I'm going to select again the curve. We're going to apply a second curve and I'm going to go down here to the corner and increase the line somewhere here at the square, at the first square. So it's going to make it pretty light and it's going to eliminate the black. And now we're done here and let's save it as a JPEG. Let's drag and drop the model into Illustrator, scale it up. So you can see this is going to be the width and the height. And let's go to the effect, pixelate and select color halftone. With a max radius, I'm going to go with 10 and a channel 1, 2, 3 and 4 should be on 45. If you want to decrease or increase the size of the circles, you can go here to the properties and you got the color halftone settings or you can go to the appearance and you got it here as well. So let's click on it. I'm going to go with eight and now they got smaller, but I'm going to go back to 10. And another thing to take in consideration when you zoom in, make sure the circles are separated from each other. This is the most important factor. If they're not separated, go back to Photoshop and increase the curve a little bit more to make the image lighter gray. So as you can see in this situation, we're at the limit. So this is important because we're going to need to trace this. So first thing we're going to go to the object, a rasterize. I'm going to go with the default settings, click OK. And let's go to the image trace and select default. Now let's zoom in the image and now you can see the circles are touching each other and we're going to need to separate every each of them. So this is also automated. So we're going to go here to the image trace settings, open it up and all you need to do is decrease the threshold all the way down. And now all the circles are going to be separated, at least most of them. Now I'm going to increase the threshold a little bit more up 21. So as you can see, the circles are increasing. So as you can see, now I'm at 32. And if I zoom in, some of them are going to touch each other. So in my situation, I'm going to go with 30. So next, let's go back to the image trace advanced. And let's go and check the ignore color and click on expand. Let's select the circle and I'm going to create a circle right here. Press and hold shift plus alt. Let's select the circle, press control C to copy it. And I'm going to select the circle with the composition. And I'm going to go to the file script and I'm going to select the replace items. So this is a free script you can download. I can leave a link in the description. And I'm also going to leave another link in the description how you can install these scripts. So after you install it, apply it and make sure that these are the settings. I'm going to click OK and let us it do its magic. It's going to take a while. So the more halftone circles you have, the more time it's going to take. All right, so finally to render it. And as you can see, we've got perfect circles here. 99% is perfect. We got a few mistakes here, but I'm going to correct them and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I don't know if you remember it before when we created the halftone lines, it was set on 45 on all four channels. So that means it is going to put the circles in 45 degree angles like this. So what I'm going to do is go here to the uh, rotate tool, double click on it, and I'm going to type in 45, click OK, and I'm going to right click on group. And let's go here where the mistakes are and I'm going to remove the circle and I'm going to select two more, press and hold alt and drag it. And I'm going to do the same with the rest. After it's done, select all the composition, a right click group. And let's go back to the rotate tool, double click on it, type in minus 45. This is how I make a halftone portrait made of perfect circles. Thanks for watching.